welcome to the creation station today we're going to be talking about anime now this was going to be part of a, another video i was going to do but it was long enough and has enough content i was going to I decided to do it as a second second video another video is still coming i don't know if we're releasing it with this one or slightly delayed we'll see i haven't decided yet um so start with I'm going to show seven different stills from animated shows and I want you to test yourself and see if you can decipher whether they are anime or not. Good luck! And the correct answer is all of them. So, did you get it right? All seven of those shows were are uh, examples of different genres of anime. And they don't include all of them by no means. And yes, I said different genres of anime because anime is not a genre. It is a medium. Just like painting a painting with oil paint is a medium that you watercolors is a separate medium that you paint with. So, anime is also a medium that you use to express a story. Um, so yeah. Now, that's part of what anime is. Anime is, by its base definition, it is Japanese animation. So you can see from those anime stills that there is quite a variety of styles in anime and although this is the truth it is often attributed to a certain visual style um, this visual style is often emulated by other Asian countries and even here in the US um, there are examples that have emulated uh, the style, this uh, style, well, aesthetic. Uh, some examples I can think of are the Ruby Show by Rooster Teeth, the Warner Brothers Teen Titans, and also Teen Titans Go. Although they're different, they still both represent a certain uh, aesthetic to in uh, Japanese animation and also Avatar The Last Airbender. Now do we still call these anime? I'm not sure. Part of me says no because Japan is the country of origin of this style. It should be named after them and yet they didn't make it. But they are representing it and even though say they're mimicking the style it does not mean these shows are bad or anything else now that being said what do we do with these non-anime animes um we don't really have a good name for them and i propose we we find one uh, i don't know i don't know what to call them but Feel free in the comments down below to recommend some. Uh, I don't know if they'll catch on, but it's a fun thing to do. But to be honest, there is there is a certain style to uh, anime that it's not visual; it's a, a narrative. It's actually been emulated here in the U.S. and other places much earlier than the shows I, I just mentioned. So the earliest one I could think of is actually the the X-Men show. Um, and the, the idea is that you have a continuous narrative and actually the X-Men show makes a lot of sense as you find out that uh, anime, the origin of anime is actually manga which is Japanese comic books. 
a lot of the series are um, adaptations of those comic books. And uh, so it makes sense that the X-Men would be um, such. Now there had been other comic book cartoons prior to that, but they didn't really follow this as much. And the point I'm trying to get at is that there is a continuous narrative. There is continuity between episodes. There's character growth that happens and um, throughout the series and, and continues. Before that, we had most a lot of the shows were, um, you know, episode to episode based. If there was any character development, like if there was a focus on one character and maybe they had developed in that episode, next episode or, you know, whatever, completely forgotten and things just move on like nothing ever, that, that previous episode never happened. That is the narrative style that Japanese had developed um, in their, their anime. Now, you, it would be almost obvious to do that. Especially nowadays, we, you know, watch live shows like that, you know, um, adult shows like that. And I think that that's why they, older shows before then here, didn't do that too much. Because, you know, all their cartoons are just for kids. So they, you know, they, they didn't really worry about having a continuous narrative. X-Men did. I remember as a kid, uh, I used to love like, like the Ninja Turtles. Watch that. And, but there was no continuity in that. Um, if there there was like a five part episode there would be or you know something like that but regularly nothing. There wouldn't be anything. You know, references to what happened. Oh, character realm. Now, I think later on in the series, like, like in the last season or so, they had much more um, continuous narrative going on in the story. That's also when the show got a lot darker as well. Which they themselves might have been starting to take take, take this type of storytelling on um, because of the the success of X-Men and uh, some of the other series that started coming out, although that was kind of the end, <laughs> end of the Turtles by then. Because of there's many different genres and uh, age groups that uh, anime is aimed for, there's really no one that can really say that they hate anime as a whole, because there is probably an anime out there for anybody. Um, just have to find the right one. Uh, as for myself, I watch science fiction and fantasy for sure because I, I love those those genres um, alone. Um, whether they be anime, movie, book, whatever. Um, there's, you know, superhero stuff. I like that. Um, but I also like a good uh, romantic comedy. Most comedy, romantic comedy, the one like a good laugh. Um, sometimes it's funny to watch people squirm in bad situation, romantic situations. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, definitely shouldn't give uh, you know, anime out. Um, you don't have to have to have to really look at it, but. No one should really look down on it, and uh, it definitely shouldn't be censored. So, if any of this sounds interesting, my next video is going to be on a romantic comedy, and I will occasionally talk about anime that has something interesting that I have to say about it. So, I like, you know, this channel is going to be dedicated to the creative things, which anime is a, you know, it's a creative medium. It's, people used to tell a story. Um, and I will be covering things that I find interesting and creative in this, uh, this, uh, next video, this anime, there's something I have to say about it, so stay tuned for that. Um, 
and if you like this video give it a like you know comment down below let me know what your uh, favorite anime is if you already have one um or you know give me your thoughts on this video on anime as a whole or anything um you know, please subscribe if you have it and keep stay tuned for more um as always Creativity is key.